We're Dave and Karen, and we're from Watts on Wheels, and we're full-time RVers. We take our spiders with us to travel the United States, and we have our fifth wheel and our smart car with us as well. We traveled to Bernie, Texas for Spiders in the Hills. Bernie is about 30 minutes northwest of San Antonio. As we were driving into Texas, it was a lot of flat land, and we finally started seeing some hills and it was starting to look pretty good. The weather was not great. We had to travel in the rain. And as you looked at the forecast, we knew it was gonna be a wet spider rider rally. This was our site at Medina Lake, Thousand Trails in Lake Hills, Texas. So it was time to go to the rally where they had vendors inside and outside. Even though it was wet, they had a pavilion. People still showed up even with the bad weather. People were getting lights put on their bikes, they were having paintings done, etchings done. And we met up with our friends Ron and Donna Ingram. They were there with their spider as well. So check this out. They gave us a package and in that package was this uh, rally ride map book. And in this book they had a map. And then, of course, they had all of these rides you could take. The Road Warrior Awareness Ride, Three Twisted Sisters Ride, Ride to the Empty Cross. I mean, there's, there's pages of rides you could take. And what was nice about these, they didn't have rides for all of these while we were there that were being led. Um, but we did go on three of about, I think they offered about ten of them. What was nice about this, oh, by the way, it talked about the Road Warrior foundation. What's cool about this, let's say you wanted to take the Enchanted Rock Ride. It would give you step-by-step -step directions. It would give you a map of where you were going and then there is this code. So you could take your cell phone and if you, as long as you had a, a code for this, a QR code app, you could put it in there and it would give you the directions through the Google map. So it would tell you this is where you're starting. Here, there's eight stops. This is where you're going to end. And you could see the whole trail on here. And then you could go step by step using your GPS system on your phone. I thought that was pretty cool. So here it is. People are lining up for rides. It's been wet about 57 to 60 degrees. There's Davey, got his frog togs on. And today is just a mist. <laughs> but we're gonna ride anyways. Buck, Texas. Little tiny town. There's the dance hall. And there is the very, very old U.S. Post Office. population was 492 in 1904, but by the 1960s it was almost a ghost town. A Texas rancher bought Luke and Bach in 1970, which supposedly had a population of three for $30,000. Today the post office is a souvenir shop. Luke and Bach has the Guinness World's Record from 2009 for the most guitar players gathered at one time to play for at least five minutes. There are 1,868 people there that play together. That record has never been broken.
We took a ride each day, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and each one lasted between four and five hours with multiple stops. And they seemed to have the uncanny ability to take us to these little hole-in-the-wall restaurants, which were awesome. We went to a lot of little shops. This is an example of one of the views that we see driving our spiders. That big hump there is enchanted rock. Once you'll be able to see what it looked like where we were going, so I've put some clips in here for you. Crossing guards, I guess. These are the typical country roads and highways that we drove through in Texas. This road is excellent for motorcycling. There's another one now. This is what we've been seeing all along this trail from, or this road, from Medina to Leakey, Texas. And this piece of property here is freaking amazing. They even have a big cliff over here too. Let's see, get a little bit of a close-up here. Just gorgeous. We've been driving up these hills, down these hills, through these hills. All kinds of twisties. Jim's was really a neat restaurant. The ambiance in there was incredible. They had an outdoor area that was huge, a lot of private areas that you could have a small group together. They also had a dance floor.
for our warriors to show up so we can take our ride through town. They have come all the way from California. And they have spiders as far as I can see. About 200 bikes. I ride through Bernie, Texas, about a half an hour with police escorts, then have a barbecue. Here comes the road warriors. All the way from California. It's a long ride. Yeah, how long has it been on the road now? Uh, well, I left uh, Jacksonville uh, oh, two weeks ago tomorrow. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, so we went out from uh, Florida out to California, hit every piece of weather imaginable, rain, snow, sleet, <laughs> hail, oh, <man. laughs> sun, uh, seen just about every animal, had a bear cub cross in front of us, elk, deer, the dog, almost dog. Got hit. The dog she tried to kidnap. Uh, I did try to. I almost had a puppy on the way here. Almost. Yeah, it's almost. Been a great trip. Awesome. Oh, we're sure glad you made it here safely. Uh, we appreciate the turnout. This is fantastic. <laughs> For a barbecue now. I don't know where they're all gonna park. Our road warriors are the ones with the red, white, and blue shirts. <laughs> <laughs> 